Howdy everyone, P Daddy here. We've been given a brand new league player to grind for. I thought we were done with league players, but EA has surprised us. We now have League on League Player 2, and that is worthy of the Whopper button. Tell the crew to push the Whopper button! The player we're going to grind for now is Dario Benedetto. He actually has five-star weak foot, so he could be a strong addition to your team. I'm going to go over the best way, the fastest way, share with you some teams you can use to help you knock out this challenge. But before we begin, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. So to bring Benedetto into your team, you need to complete five challenges. And the first one is the biggest grind, League on wins. Win 15 matches using only League on players in the starting 11 and the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece. Now, those of you who have been grinding objectives will recognize managerial masterpiece. It's where, it's the primary way we have grinded for objective cards this year. It's where Rainier is at. It's where Fofana is at when you're working to grind them. So what is the requirement there? You can only take in a 77 rated squad. So I'll share with you some squads that can well will help you make this challenge easier for you the only downside though is it's going to make it a little bit hard to grind for Fofana at the same time because some of the Fofana objectives he has to be in the starting lineup and Fofana is Premier League so for example on this one where is it? Is it this one? This one. Scoring 16 separate matches using French players with 84 overall Future Stars Fofana in your starting squad. So you can't do the this objective, the main grind for Fofana, along at the same time as Benedetto. However, you can do some of the objectives for Rainier. If you bring Rainier on as a sub, then you can complete these objectives right here with Rainier at the same time as you're going for Benedetto. The only one that you cannot go for at the same time is play 25 games with Rainy in your starting squad. But what I've been trying to do is, as I've been grinding some other objectives, as I've been doing squad battles, I try to put Rainier as a starter whenever possible. Just try to work that to work towards him that way. So Rainier, we can work towards him some at the same time as Benedetto. Fofana, you can do a couple of them, a couple of them, but you really can't knock out the main objective, which is this one or the main grind. So just wanted to point that out. So Benedetto went 15 matches using only league gun players in the starting 11. Next, scoring prowess, score 30 goals using league gun players. Over your 15 matches, you should get 30 goals. The only potential downside here is that if I'm going into a match with my league gun team and I'm grinding for Benedetto and I'm playing someone that's going for Rainier, they may be wanting to play golden goal, but I'm not necessarily wanting to play golden goal because I need to score 30 goals. So it makes it a little bit of a discrepancy there. So just try to be nice to each other on that. Maybe if you're playing a team with Rainier and you do give up that first goal, just go ahead and quit, help them out. It's no big deal, you know, just do whatever you can to try to help each other out in all these challenges. Makes it so much easier for everybody. S similar assist 20 goals using League on players in the Live Foot Friendly Managerial Masterpiece. Now, one thing I do want to point out is you do have the option of all of these. I'll just go ahead and read these and I'll point out my point. League on range scoring outside of the box goal using League on players in four separate matches and score a finesse goal using League on players in six separate matches. So I do like to point out sometimes people ask to do a finesse goal. You hold RB or R1, hold it down why you have to shoot it'll be like that side footed animation and notice it's six separate matches so make sure whenever you're trying to score try to hold in that rb or r1 to get the finesse goal outside of the box goals also work really well with finesse shots so you can actually combine the two you can get an outside of the box goal with the you know kind of be just outside of the box just a couple yards outside of the box hold the finesse shot modifier down it'll kind of curl it around try to go top bends past the keeper around the keeper and that can be a great way to get to knock out both outside of the box and finesse goal and with your same goal so keep that in mind but what I do want to point out is notice how League Unwin says you have to win 15 matches using only League Un players in the starting 11. These others do not have the requirement of League Un players in the starting 11. It just has to be with League Un players. So if you are going for Rainier and you happen to have Ben Yatter on the bench or Mbappe on the bench, you can bring Mbappe on and score with Mbappe or assist with Mbappe and try to be going completing some of those at the same time, which may make it easier to do golden goal. I'm not sure. I just want to point out that you can work towards these four, but you can't knock out the main grind at the same time of going for Rainier. But let's take a look at the squad I'm recommending for, for you to use when you're taking on this objective. 
perspective because again you can only have a 77 rated squad so I'll put together a team that will be pretty strong now one thing I do want to point out is whenever one of these new objectives comes out the cards rise up in value so for example I would imagine let's just look at Renato Sanchez on the transfer market I feel like he, he hasn't risen a ton but I feel like he was like in the 2000 range and not too long ago. And now I'm seeing like 3,500. So if you're not going to work on completing Benedetto today, wait a few days. These prices will come back down. So just kind of keep that in mind. So one thing I want to point out first and foremost, I made this squad to where you can have Mbappe in the team. I've got a actual Mbappe, but I know a lot of people out there have loan Mbappe. Mbappe makes this, this challenge so much easier when you have his pace, when you have his shooting, his physicality. You can do this through balls to Mbappe, just get in on goal, maybe get a quick and easy goal, force the rage quit or whatever, or just the golden goal, help each other out. So I made this team to where you can have Mbappe. So mine, I've already positioned modified to a CM, but if you need to change this to a two striker uh, lineup, but let me go over the players we've got Moses Simon great pace for a left mid Jonathan David he just recently had a future source card but he has five star weak foot a nice card to use Gelson Martins I say is like almost a must have he is a really strong card this year 80 rated five star skill moves great pace I would say definitely get Gelson Martins into the team Renato Ch Sanchez another strong card I don't know if any of you have played with his boosted versions He's just, for whatever reason, a monster in game, a great two-way midfielder. We're going to have Tiago Mendez as more of our ball winner CM. So Mendez and Renato Sanchez are going to be our, our uh, occupying the midfield, getting caught up in my thoughts there. But Renato, I'm going to have more as my two-way midfielder. And I'm going to have Tiago Mendez more as my pure ball winner. Then we'll have Camara, Diallo, Denier, Dagba, and Gomez. Now, when I look for keepers, I just look for the for the height. Gomez is six foot five. That is perfect. So you know, at least if they're going to be a cardboard cutout, I want them to take up more, as much cardboard as possible. But I do have a couple things I want to point out here. The way I set up this team here, you can have Mbappe, but you can also have another boosted card. So instead of Denier, if you happen to complete that Kevin Volland foot freeze earlier in the year, notice we are still at. 77 rating with that Kevin Volland. Another one I want to point out, let me just get this up here. If you earlier, the first league gun player with, was Florent Moyet. If you have that Moyet card, use him. He's another really strong card that, that you could use. You could also get close to getting Bruno Guimara. So we've got Verratti from the latest party bag, I believe it was. So I've set this team up to where you can have a little bit of, of wiggle room or... Or if you want to work towards Rainier at the same time, go with this team, but then also put Rainier as a sub. Then you can play with this team, bring Rainier on as a sub, so you're still at the 77 rating. Then you can be working towards some of those Rainier objectives at the same time you're grinding towards Benedetto. And I want to point out here, here is the Benedetto card. It was kind of funny. I put them next to my team of the year, Sergio Ramos. They have almost an identical team uh, uh, dynamic picture. It's kind of interesting, but... Ramos is sticking out his tongue, but Benedetto and Ramos kind of look like twins there. The great thing about Benedetto is he has five-star weak foot. Five-star weak foot is a great thing. The downside is he has only three-star skill moves. So if you're someone that relies on four-star skill moves, and for me personally, the main four-star skill move I use is the La Croqueta. But at three-star skill moves, you can still do the fake shot stops, the ball rolls, the heel-to-heel -heel type stuff. So there's still work you can do with the Benedetto. And he's got some really nice stats. Now, as far as the chem style, I, would, I think the number one chem style I would recommend would be an engine. And that would be because I'd want to boost his agility and balance a little bit. He already has some really nice shooting stats. But if you're okay with that agility and balance, a hunter would work out really well. Hunter would kind of max out his pace, would make his acceleration 95, sprint speed 98, so that would be a, a nice option, especially with the five-star weak foot. You get some Argenti uh, Argentinian links. So, for example, if you need to also link in Messi, but also if you want Neymar, Benedetto, Messi, that would be a link. Or if you happen to have completed that Paulo Dybala, the Paulo Dybala moments or flat, whatever, the Paulo Dybala moments, I believe it is, that Dybala card is really nice. If you happen to complete him, that would give you an Argentinian link. So if you need something like that to help get you linked up another way, this could be a strong card. Also, this Benedetto, notice that heading accuracy, 98 heading accuracy, 98 jumping, 
for a five foot ten player. So I don't think he's going to feel too poor in game. He's not like six foot four or something like that, but he has massive jumping and heading ability. So you may want to put in a few crosses to him. It seems like crosses have come back a little bit this year, so he may be able to get some nice cross goals with Benedetto. But looks like a really strong card, especially if you've got Neymar, if you've got Mbappe, or if you need to link up that Dybala, or if you just need that first own league gun card. We're starting to get to some higher rated cards. Worst case scenario, this is an 88 rated card that you can use as fodder. So those are not cheap at the moment. So just keep that in mind as well. But I just wanted to go over that, share with you this awesome team that you can use. And you can go at it from different vantage points. If you want to have Rainy on the bench, then you can go for Rainy at the same time. Or you can boost the squad a little bit more and have someone like this Volland or someone like Moye. Or if you've got that striker 84 Ben Yedder or a boosted Ben Yedder card, you know, you can put him out there as well. So I wanted to share with you that the, the kind of changes you can make to the squad to make it a little bit better. And one more thing I want to point out real quick. I have this happen all the time. Notice if I happen to take off the silver cards. Check out the rating. Let me just remove the silver card. Notice, look at the rating top left, right under Fofana San. Rating 78 now. So you have to fill out your subs bench with the three silvers. You're allowed three silvers in managerial masterpiece. So do three 65 rated silvers, four 75 rated bronzes on the bench, unless you also want Rainier. So just keep that in mind as well. So notice how we went to 78. So if I can't play Voland and Rainier, if I want Rainier on the subs bench, I need to bring Denayer in. So anyways, boys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, check the description, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. But I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.